Welcome to High Point University. It's time for NCAA Women's Lacrosse on ESPN+. Plus. We've got an early Saturday afternoon matchup here at Ford Stadium today as the High Point Panthers get set to welcome in the Presbyterian Blue Hose. And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's broadcast. I'm Wendell Epps. The High Point Panthers are coming in this game on a two-game win streak, including a massive victory on Wednesday at Winthrop, winning 23-2. Presbyterian, on the other hand, is currently on a five-game losing streak, but they're going to be looking to turn things around here today. And here comes Abby Horns with it. High Point leading by one. Abby Horns starting to turn on the Jets a little bit, moving fast here. She's going to shoot, and Abby Horns is going to score. That's what happens when you activate the need for speed. You get goals, and Abby Horms did just that. Two to nothing. High Point leads Presbyterian. Looks like the Blue Hose are going to get their third draw win, but look at High Point says, we're going to take that ball right back from you. Emma Genovese getting that one, and here comes the Panthers now. It's Kay Roselli who scored the first goal of the game for High Point. Trying to make it two, and she does! Kay Roselli bouncing that one in like a basketball. Three to nothing. High Point now still on top. Nicole Pugh surveying the field here for the Panthers. Now Genovese has it for high point. Looking for Mina Losher. It was touched there by the goalie of Presbyterian, Heidi Schaefer, a senior. And there's a fourth goal right there for high point. Once again, Abby Horms. She now has two goals on the afternoon. So two players have dominated on the attack here in this game for High Point. Kay Roselli and this player right here, Abby Horms, going to work, doing her thing. Abby Horms style, four to nothing. High Point leads Presbyterian. 47th goal of the season for Abby Horms. Last season had 76 goals along with 22 assists. High Point still has five more regular season games left after today, so Abby Horms could be well on her way to potentially matching or even surpassing her goal total from last season. So we'll get to see another draw here. Normally when a team is winning a lot of draw controls, they're normally the team that's up, but in this case, Presbyterian with four draw control wins, High Point with zero, well, the score just says the opposite. High Point has four goals, and Presbyterian has no goals. So let's see what happens here on this draw. And for the first time here in this game, High Point's going to win the draw. And that's good for them because even though you're up, you still want to be able to try and be successful in all areas of the field. And getting those draw wins are going to be crucial, cause especially when you have more competitive games as the season goes on, you want to get those draw wins. Abby Horn shooting again and scoring again back-to-back. -back just like that. Three goals now for Abby Horms, and she's got the early hat trick. Pia Cavallaro, oh my goodness! Behind the back! How about that, Pia Cavallaro? Shooting and scoring in style. Welcome to the circus, ladies and gentlemen. Today, headlining is Pia Cavallaro. <laughs> we'll take a look at this one once again, as we should. Cavallaro says, hey, look what I can do. Absolutely amazing shot there by the sophomore, our key player to watch in this game, showing why we picked her to be that key player to watch the 5-3 sophomore. That's one way to get your first goal of the game, and that's also one way to get your 17th goal of the season. What a season it has been for Cavallaro. Got to play a little bit last season, five games in 2021. But didn't score any goals, didn't notch any assists, really was more of a player that was just used to gain some experience as a freshman. But here this season, she's taken a bigger leap, she's gotten a lot more playing time, and she's shown why she's earned that playing time every single minute of it. Absolutely amazing season by Pia Cavallaro, and certainly one of the amazing goals we've seen in all of High Point Women's across so far this season. Here comes Abby Horms quickly. How about that? Starting off the second quarter in style, getting yet another goal here for the Panthers. Abby Horms just cannot be stopped. Five goals now for Abby Horms. Abby Edmondson's going to have her first free position shot of the afternoon. 
Edmondson coming in this game as a leading goal scorer for Presbyterian with 25 goals in the season. Only scored one goal in the game against Wofford and only took two shot attempts. But she's had a lot of success this season, and hey, that shows it why. Abby Edmondson able to get a goal right there for the Blue Hose. Finally on the board, 8-1 to one now the score here at Vert Stadium. Take a look at this one once again. Nice shot there by Edmondson. Taking advantage of her free opportunity, notching in on that free position shot. The 5'9 junior out of Milton, Georgia. Second team all Big South back in 2021. 41 goals and eight assists on 70 shots last season. And has carried over that success from her sophomore campaign into her junior campaign. Approaching the nine minute mark here at Vert Stadium in this first half between High Point and Presbyterian. First and only meeting between these two teams here in the regular season. Abby Horms scoring again! Abby Horms! You just continue to impress this day in and day out. 11 goals now for the Panthers and 7 goals now for Abby Horms. It is officially half time here at Vert Stadium, ladies and gentlemen, where the High Point Panthers lead the Presbyterian Blue Hose 12 to 1. Absolutely dominating performance for High Point in the first half. We are going to head to break here. When we come back, we'll have the halftime report for you right here. You're watching NCAA Women's Lacrosse on ESPN+. Plus. Back up to the broadcast booth. I'm Wendell Epps here to bring you today's broadcast. It's been all high point here so far in this game. 12-1 to the score in favor of the Panthers. They came out and absolutely dominated the Blue Hose in that first period. 7-0 high point outscored Presbyterian in that second quarter. The Blue Hose are finally able to get a goal on the board. We'll now transition into some first half highlights though. As we'll see here in this game, it's really been all high point. But as you can see here, it was a lone goal that Presbyterian scored in the opening stages of the second quarter. Abby Edmondson getting a goal there. The only goal, the only shot of the beginning, at least, of that first half for Presbyterian. But after that, it was all high point. Mia Cavallaro getting an amazing behind-the-back goal. And then it was the Abby Horms show. Seven goals for Abby Horms. Only one goal away from tying her career high and two away from breaking it. Had herself an absolutely amazing first half. Kay Roselli did her thing, too. Had a couple goals in that first quarter to help high point get an early spark against Presbyterian. But as I said, it was all Abby Horms doing her thing, scoring left and right. A lot of saucing and crossing action being on display in that first half from Abby Horms, coming in at the right place at the right time, feeding off the rest of her players and just having herself a day. Total team performance by High Point in that first half really made for a great deal. Mandy Brockamp, look at the hustle right there, getting that ball back from the ground and shooting it and scoring in style. But once again, we go back to Abby Horms going in left and right and just going right through that Presbyterian defense right there. An excellent first half for the Panthers. Take a look at those first half stats. High point, 23 shots. Presbyterian with just four. The Blue Hose did not take a single shot in the first quarter. Six saves on the side for Presbyterian. Two saves on the side of High Point. Look at the ground ball differential. 29 ground balls for High Point. Just 10 ground balls for Presbyterian. And then the Blue Hose, a lot of errors on their end. 12 turnovers on the side for the Blue Hose. Six turnovers for the High Point Panthers. It's a little bit of a 50-50 differential there. But for high point, those shot attempts have resulted in them getting a lot more opportunities on the attack. And it's the reason why they lead Presbyterian right now 12-1 to at the half. 24 seconds remain here on this shot clock. High point attack, and it's Cavallaro. And Pia Cavallaro's got another goal there for the Panthers, her second of the afternoon. High point leads Presbyterian 13-1. to High point in search of that 16th goal here on this possession. Abby Horm shooting and scoring! Abby Horms has got it! A career high for Abby Horms. Nine goals on the afternoon. She has been on fire all day long. 16 to 1. High point leads Presbyterian. Shot there by the Blue Hose, and it's going in. Second goal of the game for Presbyterian. It's Nia Bettis, the freshman, scoring that one. This is where Abby Horms is so dangerous, right around this area of the field. Coming over from X, you can just come out of nowhere and score with ease. Nice spin move by Nicole Pugh. Spinning, shooting, and scoring. How about that? The circus continues to be put on full display here at Vert Stadium, ladies and gentlemen. This time, we've got Nicole Pugh. Sadie Coachman still in cage for the Panthers, but she really hasn't had to do much because Presbyterian hasn't had to really take that many shots. Nicole Pugh again, saucing and crossing and scoring again. Back to back just like that. Nicole Pugh, are you kidding me? On fire here in this fourth quarter. 
High points racking them up. Blue Hose trying to get that fourth goal here of the afternoon. It's Edmondston now attacking, shooting, and count it. Abby Edmondson getting the fourth goal there for Presbyterian. Her second goal of the day, the leading goal scorer, getting a nice one there. And it is over. The High Point University Panthers have secured a 19-4 victory over the Presbyterian Blue Hose today. Tremendous win for the Panthers. Another large Big South win. And it's going to move them to 3-1 in conference play and 4-8 and overall. Presbyterian will drop to 0-4 in conference play and 2-10 and overall. So certainly a tremendous performance for the Panthers from start to finish. A lot of consistent play. We saw Abby Horms notching her career high in goals scored. So it was a pleasure bringing you today's broadcast. I'd like to thank everyone, part of our fantastic crew, producer Blake Woodard, director Thomas Hart, replay Piper Saroy, and everyone else helped making this broadcast possible. I'm Wendell Epps saying so long from Burt Stadium here in High Point, North Carolina. Final score, High Point 19, Presbyterian 4.